I'm Micah. I'm Nobu. I'm Chris. We're trying to make it across the country on a bus powered by used cooking oil. We're seeking out backyard innovators who build earth-friendly inventions that work. It's a road trip experiment where anything can happen. We're back on the road to Goodfield, Illinois, where we're going to build a gasifier stove. Paul Weaver and Paul Anderson at Chip Energy make highly efficient cook stoves, which burn waste materials at extremely high temperatures. Is this a gasifier stove? This is a gasifier. <laughs> All right. <if> you would. <laughs> okay. Yeah, 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 let's, let's, let's start the tour. Let's, yeah, let's check some yeah. stuff out. Okay. What are the advantages of gasifying? Like, is it a cleaner emissions, uh, more efficiency out of the material? The main advantage of gasification is that we are no longer burning wood. We are burning gases. And when the gases get mixed in with the air of the, uh, and with the oxygen in the air, the mixing is much, much better. And that better mixing is what then gives us the cleaner combustion. We're able to make gases separate from where we burn the gases. Here's how it works. Air is blown in from the bottom up through the burning organic waste. More air enters through holes near the top. The controlled air fuel mixture produces a reaction that converts just about any organic matter into gas that burns at the top, producing temperatures as high as 900 degrees. All right, you can see here that we would fill it with fuel and then they're going to light the fire at the top. So here we're having the air coming in at the bottom, these holes at the bottom here, and coming out, there's a little fan down underneath in here, okay? And that fan is blowing air, and some of that air is entering in at the bottom, and that's called primary air. And that air is just gonna come up through the wood, through the wood chips and things, and it's going to eventually reach the area where this fire is at. I was told you guys are some hands-on guys, right? <laughs> Another unique feature of these stoves is they can be fueled by coal, corn husks, even cherry pits, stuff that wouldn't normally burn well in an open fire. Paul's fuel of choice is scrap wood, made from and old pallets that are shredded into food, evenly right? sized chips. You, you've got it to a very sort of particular uh, sized chip. Right. Now, what's the reason for that? Flowability. Flowability. Okay. Well, the, also, also, the air must pass through it. Right. So you don't want it as fine as sawdust. Right. Because the air can't pass through It'll it. It'll compact. But, and, but you want it uh, coarse enough so that the air can pass through it. Okay. And you want it easily flowable. It would be great if we could make our own stove yeah. so we could cook on the road. Paul's going to show us how. Should we have gloves? I started your stove for you. All right, thank you. Okay, you can paint it green at the end. <laughs> you cut out, okay? This can will sit through that hole. Okay. So therefore, you're going to notch it down a little bit. Like just show it, just like, like that. Yeah. All right? Should we do it right now? Yeah, yeah let's, let's do it right now. I'll start cutting the uh, cutting. Okay, you need to prepare what is going to be in the side piece. Okay, that's like the air intake? Sure. Yes. Right, right. So I got to cut it all the way around. Yeah. Okay. You can, uh, well, we'll get you a little we'll starter hole in through there. Actually, drive it with a nail would do it. Excellent. Great. And we have another drill right here. To fold the, these tabs outward so that then it will grip. Right. That's going to be done into that can. Even though this technology has been around since the 1800s, these stoves are even more efficient and easy to build. It's a great way to use organic matter that would otherwise end up in the landfill. And now this is ready to cook your food. Very well, thanks good. for the instruction. Yeah, yeah, thanks a lot. Yeah. Thanks. Take care. Yeah. Glad to have yeah. you. Great. Thank you very much. Good luck with everything. Thanks for coming, guys. Yeah, thank thanks you very, very much. much. We appreciate having yeah. you. Thank you. Lots. Drive carefully. Thanks. thanks. Have a good trip. Right. Thanks. Waste material is readily available.